I have created a hack to speed up your speech after recording a YouTube video. I am going to show you how to record yourself at normal speed and then how to speed it up in Premiere without changing your pitch so you will not sound like a chipmunk. All of this and more in just a jiffy. Let's say you shot a talking head video like this one and when you're playing it back, it sounds a little slow and you want to actually change the speed and maintain the pitch so that way you don't sound like a chipmunk right so there are two ways to do it in premiere pro one that doesn't work really well and the other one that works much better so now i will recommend you to change your speed to 110 percent or to 125 percent you don't want to change it to something faster than that because even if you can maintain the pitch it's still going to sound a little weird so let me show you the traditional way and why this one doesn't work really well so here's an example and i'm going to play it uh, for you at a uh, hundred and ten percent so the traditional way to do it is you want to right click on your footage want to go to speed duration and here i to change it to 110%. Now, what you want to do is check this box that is called maintain audio pitch. And after you click OK, it will change the speed of your clip and also it will maintain the pitch. But before or after rendering your timeline, Premiere creates this kind of a weird echoing effect on your audio track. I'm gonna play it for you so you can hear how it sounds like. This is Joe Rogan's new favorite boom arm. It is the red version of the OC white. That's not good, not good at all. But there is another way to do this and that is by using an effect called pitch shifter. So I'm gonna give you an example here and this is how my clip sounds at 100%. This is Joe Rogan's new favorite boom arm. It is the red version of the OC White Pro. And this is how the same clip sounds at 110% by using pitch shifter. This is Joe Rogan's new favorite boom arm. It is the red version of the OC White Pro. Much better. And now here's an example at 125%, which is a little too fast but sometimes if you have somebody speaking really slowly 125 percent could work for you so let me just show you how it plays at 125 percent this is joe rogan's new favorite boom arm it is the red version of the oc white pro fast but we can still maintain the pitch which is a good thing and i'm going to show you how we can do that in this demo section of my timeline and the first thing we need to do is we need to change the speed of our click and we can do that by right clicking on it and going to speed duration so now i'm going to change it to 110 percent and very important we need to make sure we do not check on the maintain audio pitch here because that's what creates the problem in the first place. So I'm gonna click okay. I just changed the speed, that's it. And if I play it back now, it's gonna sound like a chipmunk. Red boom arm. It is the red version of the OC. Not good, but the way to fix it is if we go to the effects panel here, we can look for the pitch shifter on the search box here. When we find it, we can just drag it over your audio track. Now, we can go and click on the effects control panel, scroll down, look for the pitch shifter here. And if we click on the edit button, we get this box. And in here, wanna make sure that you are using the default preset here and that your precision is set to high precision. And the settings for 110% are, you wanna change your semitones to minus one and your sense to minus 50, okay? So close that, I'm gonna play it again for you. 
This is Joe Rogan's new favorite boom arm. It is the red version of... So now it's playing much better with the right pitch. And now I'm gonna show you the settings for 125%. So I'm gonna go to my next clip and we need to do the same thing. Right click on it, go to speed duration, change that to 125%. Again, make sure you're not checking on the maintain audio pitch and we click OK. So if I play it now. This is Joe Rogan's new favorite boom arm. It sounds terrible. I'm a chipmunk. So I'm going to go back to my effects panel here. I'm going to look for the pitch shifter and I'm going to drop it over my footage. Now I'm going to click on the effects control panel. I'm going to scroll down. Make sure that I am finding the pitch shifter. Click on the edit button. And the settings for 125% are, again, remember to be under the default preset. And the precision, you wanna make sure that you have the high precision check. And then we wanna change our semitones to minus three and your sense to minus 50. And these are the settings for 125%. So now if I play it back. This is Joe Rogan's new favorite boom arm. It is the red version of the OC White Pro Boom Ultima. Fast, but again, we are able to maintain the right pitch. So that's it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you on my next video. See ya.